Hello guys, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your girl attack fan game. What you're going to need is Unity. You can find that in the link in the description. And it could be any version from 2021 or 2022. I recommend those versions. If you want to get really set up, you can change the FOV. But I'm going to teach you real quick how to use Unity. So what you want to do, this is the hierarchy where you see all your stuff. You can right click and then you can add an object. We can add a cube. As you can see, we have a cube here then we can click this little scale tool to drag and then as you can see we made it a cube so yep here's our little bait also if you want to change the fov for the camera you can click this little camera icon and then scale it up like this the main camera is what you see in the game view and this directional light shows shines all the light onto the scene so if we remove it so if we remove that it will turn dark also here in the inspector you can change the position of stuff so let's change it to zero 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 so now it's at zero 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 that's basically how to use unity if you right click in the scene you'll see this little eyeball um you see this little eyeball icon and then if you press wasd it'll move around your camera now keep holding down right click and then scroll up in the, with the scroll wheel and then you'll go faster press shift while moving to go faster it's basically like roblox studio so if you're a pro at roblox studio you'll be a pro at unity let's let's, let's start actually making our game so what you want to do you want to go to edit then project settings then after you went to project setting, you want to go to XR plugin management. After you click on that, you will see this little button to install it. Click install, and then it should take a little bit. After this, you'll see a little button. What you want to do, you want to click on the monitor, and then you want to click on open XR. And then it'll give you this little warning. And then it'll say, do you want to enable backend? Doing so will restart the editor. Click yes. And then it will restart it, but before it restarts, it will ask you to save. So as you can see, it says scenes have been modified. Do you want to save? Then click save. Then close out. Um, don't don't mind about that. After your editor has restarted, you should see this little thing that says that gives you these little warnings. Click fix all. And then this one should disappear. Now after that one has disappeared, you want to click edit on this one. Okay, you want to click on the monitor, then you want to look at render mode. Make sure to change it from single pass to multi pass. Then after this, you want to see this little list, and then you want to click the plus. Then you want to add the valve index controller profile, and then you want to add then you want to add the Oculus Touch controller profile. Now you want to click on the Android if you did it right. Then you want to add multi pass, and then you want to add the Oculus Touch controllers. But one thing I forgot to mention, you want to click the XR plugin management thing, and then you want to go click on Android, and then you want to click on Oculus. If you did everything right, it should make this folder called XR. Now, don't bother that, but now we're going to move on to something else. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to click on Window, Package, Manager. And then you can just scroll this down a little bit. Then you want to click on this plus icon and then you want to click add package from get url then you want to paste in what i put in the description but if you're a more typing guy what you want to type in is com.unity.xr.interaction interaction dot toolkit then you should click add and then it should get a package now we should make this little thing in the title called XR Interaction Toolkit. Now you want to click on Samples and then you want to click on Starter Assets. Now if it opens up this, then just click Fix All. Then it should get rid of it. Now after it's imported, it should open up this folder. But if it doesn't, click Asset. But if it doesn't, then click Samples, XR Interaction. And then you want to open up this. Then you want to open up Starter Assets. Now after this, this is where people get stuck from Be Awesome's tutorial. Now what you want to do, you want to click on this, then you want to click the button right here that says add. Hey. 
After this, you want to scroll down until you see Controller Input Action Manager. Now, what you want to do, you want to type in right on where it says right controller, then you want to put in left. Okay, after you've done this, what you want to do, you want to go to my server or you want to go to a link in the description, then you want to click on this GitHub link. And this is by the official Gorilla Tag people. And what you want to do, you want to download this little Unity package. You want to click on it, then you want to click view raw. Now after doing that, you can either drag in the package from your downloads, or you can just right click, click import package custom package, then you can do this. I like doing this, so I'm going to do that. Now after this, it should give you this little thing. Now before you do this, you want to click file and then save. But if it unloads your scene, then that's okay. What you want to do, you want to click copy on whatever map you have right now. To copy stuff, hold down the button that says control. And while you are still holding it down, press the C button, the keyboard. And to paste things, it's the same steps. But instead of pressing C, you press V. Then you want to click all. And then you want to click import. Now it might get rid of everything, so don't panic. But yeah, it's going to ask and then boom. Everything is gone now. But it's okay because we're gonna reload, we're gonna paste in, and then boom. After this, you wanna click resources, gorilla prefab, and then you just wanna drag in gorilla rig to the hierarchy. Now, after this, it will be right here. Now, it might give you a little error, like right when you open it, but it'll say something like this. So it'll give you an error like this. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna right click on this script. You wanna click remove component. Then you wanna click add component. Then you wanna type in XR origin. After you've done this, it should give you something like this. Now I'm going to show you everything to drag in. Now after this, what you want to do? For this, you want to drag in Gorilla Player. And for this one, you got to drag in Main Camera. Also, delete the Main Camera that's outside of the Gorilla Ray thing. But now, let's try to play test the game. Now let's drag this little game thing over to here. Now if we drag the hand up, and then as you can see, the camera sees the hand. Then you just drag it and then it starts moving. So yeah, you have a proper game. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. Anyways, I'm Macy and I'm out. Peace out.